Hello everybody, and welcome to Ancient Architects. Please subscribe now to get the latest ancient history news and independent research from around the world. In a TV show that aired on Channel 5 in the UK called Opening Egypt's Great Tomb, Dr Vasil Dobrev, an archaeologist with 30 years of experience working in Egypt, believes there are traces of a hidden pyramid buried beneath the desert sands of Saqqara. The site is just 19 miles from the Great Pyramid of Giza and located in South Saqqara, just northwest of the burial complex of Pharaoh Pepi I, in a region known as Tabet el Goesh. Like Giza, Saqqara contains a number of major pyramids, including what experts believe is the first pyramid of Egypt, which is the Step Pyramid of Djosa, and if you've been following my channel, this has been the subject of one of my recent videos. Saqqara also contains a number of other pyramids from the 5th and 6th dynasties. So, what exactly has the archaeologist discovered? Well, on the TV show, he took Tony Robinson, famous for playing Baldrick in the classic TV comedy Blackadder. Don't worry, Mr. B, I have a cunning plan to solve the problem. And the brilliant Archaeology Showtime team to a flat plateau, which he believes was flattened to construct a pyramid. And he also believes that this site does contain traces of a pyramid, and further evidence to back up such a claim. In Dobrev's opinion, he thinks it's the Pyramid of Yusukar, the second king of the 6th dynasty. This pharaoh only reigned for 2 to 5 years in the late 24th to early 23rd century BC. His predecessor was Teti, and he was succeeded by Pepi I. So the fact that the Flat Plateau is located close to the pyramid complex of Pepi I does add credence to his hypothesis. Due to the short reign of the king, little of Yusukar's reign survives, and some even believe that he may have been responsible for the murder of King Teti, taking the throne for himself. Some also speculate that the reason his reign was short was because he was an illegitimate king in the eyes of his successor Pepi I, who overthrew him and once became pharaoh, worked to erase him from history. Maybe this is why the pyramid identified by Dr Dobrev may just be a flat plane, because maybe even the pyramid was destroyed in the aftermath of his short reign. In fact, it is just as likely that the pyramid was never even finished. The tomb of Yusukar has never been identified, and his remains have never been found, and archaeologists have long accepted the idea that his pyramid or tomb would never be located. But Dr Dobrev certainly thinks he has the answer, and excavations may be able to prove it. There is a large necropolis of 6th dynasty administration officials close by, which Dobrev believes hints at the presence of a royal pyramid nearby. In other news this week, the Egyptian news website Egypt Today has reported that next month, November 2019, the Egyptian Ministry of Antiquities will be announcing a new discovery in the area of the pyramids. A discovery that they call a revelation. At this time the location is vague and no details have been released to the media, but with November just days away, expect a large amount of coverage from Western media as Egypt gears towards the opening of its new Grand Egyptian Museum next year. In a separate story hot off the press, archaeologists in Turkey have uncovered a section of a prehistoric fortress wall at the Yumuktepe Mound, a site that they have just discovered dates back to 7000 BC. Located in the city of Mersin in southern Turkey, the new discoveries at the site mean the ancient fortress is much older than was once believed. And talking to the media, Isabella Caniva, professor of archaeology at the University of Salento, said, we didn't know there was such a technology in that period in technical terms. Now we see it and it's a special structure. Pictures were released on the Daily Sabah and Ancient Origins websites that show just how impressive this ancient structure is. The articles say it was once a coastal settlement, but because of silting from the nearby river, as well as tidal movement, the sea is now 1.5 miles away. Yumuktepe Mound has been excavated since the 1930s, but the new discovery has surprised everyone. It shows that the mound was continuously inhabited for thousands and thousands of years, being one of the oldest known settlements of Anatolia. It has been part of the Hittite, Assyrian, Persian, Macedonian, Roman and Byzantine empires, and in the latter it was gradually abandoned as nearby cities began to flourish. 
It therefore has extensive yet complicated archaeology. This year, during the summer months, a team of 30 archaeologists have been working on the site, led by Professor Keneva, and this 9,000-year-old ancient seal was among the finds. The wall itself is 7,000 years old, dating to the Chalcolithic Age, and would have once stood at 20 feet in height, and it was made from cut stone and baked brick. Previous work found there was a fortress on the site from 5,000 years ago, so the new wall that has been discovered pushes back the history another 2,000 years, and this seal by yet another 2,000. Keneva believes that the reason for all this protection was because something important was being made at the site, and due to the finds, including an ancient blast furnace and copper objects, the professor believes that it may be a site of ancient copper production. This is just a short news update, and I have another longer video in the works regarding one of the oldest and most important sites in Egypt, located on Elephantine Island. Thank you very much for watching this news update from Ancient Architects. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, please like the video, and please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.